Welcome back, folks, to Let's Replay XCOM UFO Defense, and when last we left off, this terror mission happened. It could have gone a lot better. It also could have gone far, far worse, especially with the beginning that we had. I'm quite happy that I only lost two soldiers. We could have lost pretty much all of them. We need to get ready for the fact that we need to re-equip two soldiers. We don't have enough suits of personal armor to uh, equip the two that will be replacing the two that died. We can check the two that died here. I'm so very sorry, Dr. Grant and Gaston too. I'm sorry. We want to uh, get a few more soldiers here. We also want to get two more electro flares, as I think we couldn't re-equip those. Apart from that, there's not much going on here. We have uh, this research slowly uh, plodding along. We have this base nearly ready to uh, operate. We have five days until a large radar system is ready. And you know what? We're going to build a new base. We're going to start right now. I think this base will go about here. And we're going to call it Ultimac Swadia. We need a base to cover this area. There are going to be blind spots in our ability to uh, detect various UFOs, but we can fill those in as we uh, move on in the months. We want a hangar here, and we want a general store here. There we go. This base will be ready soon, and when that base is ready, our ability to detect UFOs will increase this much. Over here, there might even be some overlap here, which means that uh, UFOs that go from here to here, or here to here, we can still detect and we can go and shoot down. When this has returned, we will be able to recoup most, if not all, of the money that we used in uh, getting the initial groundwork of that base ready. You are now there. We want to equip some uh, stuff to the uh, Sky Ranger when it's arrived. We also want to assign some soldiers to the... Uh, that is the wrong base. I will be doing that more often than you think. We want to uh, assign two more soldiers. Welcome, Loopy McGoopin and number nine to the Sky Ranger. Hopefully you'll do well. Let us uh, just let time advance here. Actually, we want to go and sell some things first. We really want to sell things. We want to sell uh, all of these rifle clips. And there we go. We also want to sell this pistol and those clips. And I think all of these corpses, we want to get rid of them too. Nearly a million. Not bad. And within a few hours, we will get the uh, Council of Funding Nations report, which says that they are very happy. That plus 1,000 really worked to our benefit. That said, if we hadn't have uh, taken out that base, we would have lost five points a day for every day that that uh, base was present. We do get uh, a minor reduction in our funding from Russia, but everyone else is happy. So we gained over half a million extra funding. We have a lot of money. We're going to be using that money. We're going to be getting more tanks. We're going to be uh, getting some engineers over here when that workshop is completed. The main reason being is, uh, you may think the engineers are not a good investment. Not so. 20 engineers there will be able to, uh, pay for themselves and also pay for the uh, maintenance of that base. We definitely want some electro flares here. Just in case we have a night mission. It won't be that long before the uh, armor is uh, finished. And then we'll switch over to a tank or two. I say a tank or two because at this point I'm presuming that uh, the tank that we build will inevitably get blown up. So we really need to uh, have another tank ready. We want to equip some armor here. There we go, personal armor and personal armor. Eventually those soldiers that we have... Uh, hired will arrive, and then we will name- Ooh, there is a UFO right here. Do we want to intercept that? We'll certainly try. I think I'm intercepting it with the Sky Ranger. That is a poor plan. I don't think we'll be able to actually uh, reach this one anyway. It's probably, yep, too far away. Let us just uh, have uh, that return. Did I actually hire two soldiers? Maybe I- No, I did. I did. I just totally missed- um... Let's have a look here. We have... Did I hire two soldiers? I have 15 soldiers here. Where are those other two soldiers? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. No, they're on their way. That's the thing. They're on their way. If they are hired but not yet arrived, they're still counted as being there for the purposes of, Hey, you have two soldiers coming! 
so that I don't do something like I was about to, which was get more soldiers. We're going to have Alice here, your bravery is astounding, your bravery isn't. But you do have a lot of stamina, so we're going to call you Helicopter Pig, for no particular reason other than I want to get an old favourite back. Helicopter Pig has returned. I quite liked Helicopter Pig when he was extremely high rank and excellent at killing everything. I can't hope that will happen again, but it might. The radar system at Ultimac Algo is ready, which means that this place can now detect UFOs. Very handy. Hopefully this will immediately pay off with some uh, UFOs that we can take out. UFOs we would not have detected otherwise. Any... that is the uh, tank laser cannon? That's fine. We can now go back to making copious amounts of money. An unlimited amount. We could lose 17 million a month, or we could gain 2.8. I'll go with a 2.8, thank you. Seems like a much better deal. We are at the wrong base. Let us, uh just get the uh, tank equipped here. The tank is just really useful, soaking up lots of firepower. Let us wait some more. Any UFOs anywhere? I'll accept any size UFO that's not large or larger. We could probably take on a medium one if we use both of our interceptors. That is a very small one. I don't care where that one is, that one is being taken out. Very small UFOs are extremely fragile, they're only manned by a single alien, and their purpose is infiltration. And we have lost it. We need to find that uh, UFO. I'm going to guess that it's going to swing back round and come over here. I don't think it's going to go to the Arctic. There's not much to infiltrate at the Arctic. Anything here? Are you coming back? There you are! Intercept immediately. This one is likely going to try and run away, because it is not equipped for a fight. I don't even think it has any weapons. It is very small, if we do a standard attack, and any one of these rockets hits, it's just gone. There isn't even anything to recover, it's just debris that crashes to the ground. That's good, because we gain points for taking out that UFO. We also have the fact that, uh... That UFO hopefully didn't succeed in its mission, because if it was infiltrating a, uh, a nation, it could make them withdraw from funding XCOM, which is bad. We don't want that to happen. They promise all sorts of things, like uh, prosperity, technology, not being attacked. I don't think the aliens are being sincere. Do we have any reason to believe the aliens are being sincere at this point? I don't think we do. I don't think we do at all. We have 2.7 million. That will go down when this is uh, built, and then we get the workshop, the living quarters, and the radar system all ready to go. Days go by. Nothing is happening. General stores have been built. Good. Let us uh, build some facilities. We shall get a living quarters here, a radar system here, and a workshop over here. We are down to below a million. That's fine, though. We can deal with having less than a million, because by the time we have uh, that workshop ready, we should probably have enough to get 20 engineers working there. Speaking of that workshop, there it is, and we have just enough money. Literally just enough money. We're going to get some engineers. Don't pick scientists here, otherwise you've wasted a lot of money. You may think, oh dear, we have less than 100 grand left. That's fine, though, because even as we are waiting for those engineers to arrive, that money is going up because we are making laser cannons and selling them. By the way, how is that research going? Average. It's very slow. We might need a few more scientists. Days go by. Nothing is happening. I don't like when nothing is going on. You know the aliens are up to something, but you just don't know what the aliens are up to. They could be doing anything right now. The engineers have arrived. Set them immediately to start manufacturing laser cannons. 20 engineers can do a remarkable job. 1.4 million a month. That will definitely pay for all of the staff here and the maintenance of this base. This base is pretty much self-sustaining. It's just a shame that uh, you can't keep going with the game, even when all of the uh, councils of funding nations have decided that uh, 
you're not suitable for the job and they uh, have withdrawn all of their funding. Mainly, uh, that is there to give you an incentive to keep defending everything. And also, it does make sense because you are building your bases in their territory, unless you're building in the Arctic or the Antarctic. But I think even then, they would try and drive you away or stop you from doing things. If they think that their money could be better spent doing something else, there is a UFO. We're going to intercept that with uh, Ultimac Algo's interceptor, and hopefully we can take it out. Is this uh, UFO going to uh, start a fight? The answer is, it's going to try and run away. Too bad for you. You are going to be destroyed. What kind of UFO is this? It is a medium-sized UFO, and it has crash-landed, which is good. Why don't we wait a small while, and then we intercept it with the Sky Ranger, after we have checked if the Sky Ranger is fully equipped. We don't want to send the Sky Ranger out. Uh, okay, everybody here is fine. That is all fine. We have the Electro Flares, just in case we uh, land when it's night. And you two have armor. Good. We want to intercept as soon as possible, then. We don't want to leave this uh, crash site here, because if we do, and it disappears, we don't get all of the loot and all of the points that we could get. On the same token, we don't want to attack this uh, while it is dark. It is now daytime. That means that we're that much more capable of taking care of what's here. We have, uh... I forgot to equip you with large rockets, didn't I? Yes, I did forget. Then again, your rockets are quite dangerous. You nearly took out, uh, quite a few other people the last time you fired a, uh, a snapshot reaction to an alien approaching. The first and last time I hope that you ever do that. It will not be the last time, I'm sure. Let us, uh... Equip that there and this here. I think we're ready to go. Okay, it is daytime. That looks like the UFO there immediately. Let us very cautiously move this out. Nothing here. There is the, uh, yep, there is definitely the UFO. It's right there. We want to be careful. We definitely want to be careful if that's the case. Let us, uh, get ready some, uh, smoke, shall we? We shall prime this to zero, and to throw it is 17. So if we move to, say, there, we have 24, and then we throw the smoke about here? There. Much better. Time for you to crouch. This is pretty much all I'm going to do this first turn. We have some smoke. We have somebody, uh, well, the tank, keeping an eye on where the uh, aliens go. Also with some time to uh, fire, just in case. End turn. The smoke goes off. The door opens. And that is it. That is most certainly it. There can't be all of the aliens in here, unless we've managed to uh, shoot this down without destroying the Illyrium power source. If we have managed to do that, then there will be four or five aliens around. If we haven't managed to uh, save that, then we will probably have two or three, or maybe one. Okay, time for you to move. You have not seen anything. Okay, move over here. Nothing nearby at all. I'm a little concerned about that. Where did that alien go? I don't know where that alien went. And that alien not being somewhere is bad. We could move you over here, but that is a terrible, terrible idea. I almost feel like waiting another turn, just to see what happens. Hidden movement. Nothing. Oh dear. We have no idea where the aliens are. No idea at all. Where are they? An alien left this craft. I've probably waited way too long in getting soldiers out, haven't I? I've probably waited way too long. Can we get someone like, say, Deacon out to examine? We can. Getting you here, though, is a poor idea. Getting you over here is probably better. By a wall means it's less likely that there's going to be a, uh an alien that's going to shoot you. There is no view from a window. 
get somebody by this corner. But I'm a little concerned about that way as well. I'm just very concerned in general. Not being able to see where the aliens are. Poor thing. Okay, Sadwick, we can get you out, but it will pretty much cost you all of your time units. But we need some soldiers out. And we also need to get the people with less experience experience. We'll turn you, we'll crouch. Everybody needs to crouch. We'll have you, uh, this way. The tank is heading in that direction. The smoke will be here for a while. That is good. Awesome Possum could move over to here. But... There is that window there. There's probably a window. Yes, there's a window up here as well. I'm concerned that there is an alien in this building. Or this building. Or this building. There could be aliens everywhere. What I'm actually concerned about is that I don't see any smoke coming out of uh, this UFO. Maybe everything is intact in there. And if that's the case, oh dear, we are in some trouble. Awesome Possum, just move over there right now. Just move over there. Face that direction. Crouch. You could do a snapshot. That's pretty much all you could do. End turn. Doors opened. The door opened. Did it close? I don't like that the door opened and closed. That's really bad. Do I dare look around the corner? Do I dare look around the corner? I do dare. There's an alien right there. Right there. Can I get a shot from here? Maybe. Move the tank around here. Can I shoot this uh, alien from here? No, I don't have a line of fire. But I could maybe distract the alien. Yes! Aha! There are two aliens there. Right, we know there are two now. Which means that we can deal with the fact that there are two. The tank served its purpose. Now I want you to face that way. You are facing that way. Good. We want you to take some reaction fire. Or rather just fire. Miss. That's a hit. Now can you shoot again? You could shoot again and then move to cover. That's what I want you to do. Shoot. Excellent. Move back to cover. We know that there is an alien over there. We know there's an alien there. We could wait for the alien. We could go over and, uh, ready to, uh, shoot the alien. Not with Awesome Possum, though. Deacon, maybe actually Awesome Possum, face that way. Because if anything, we want the front armor facing towards where the uh, aliens could be coming from. Go over here, Deacon. Go over here. Turn. Crouch. We want anything. We want people ready to uh, to shoot. Barry, I think it's time for you to move out. I think it's time for you to go over here. We need to uh, ready for the possibility that we may get flanked. Crouch there. And I think it's time for Sub-Zero to move out. Probably over to here. You have a lot of time units, which is good because we need all of those time units. Uh, we'll have you face in this direction and crouch. You actually have enough for a single snapshot, should we need it. Angel, move up. I don't want you to actually do anything just yet, because uh, we need your rocket as a reactionary thing. Also, we want to be very careful with your rocket. I think actually you're remarkably accurate with them now. 73% uh, on an aimed shot. That's pretty good. It goes up if you were to uh, crouch. Chances are the tank is going to absorb a lot of fire here. Let's hope that happens. Movement. You're going that way. And there's a shot there. So there was another alien. And that shot did very little. Which is good, because that means that we can then uh, try and go round and take care of that alien that moved away. And when we come back, folks, we will try and deal with the remaining floaters that are in this surprisingly intact UFO. Considering that we shot it down with even more powerful missiles than we normally do, I'm surprised it's so intact. And this is when we go into the UFO and there's nothing but smoke and death. That's quite likely. 
Let's see if we can take out this alien and deal with the alien that went around here. We know an alien went this way. It's very unlikely the alien went this way and then back to take a shot. At the tank, by the way, that took no damage whatsoever, front armor is certainly the most powerful armor this tank has. Don't let it get hit in the side or the back. It'll blow up like the other two that blew up. Oh, tanky and tanky too. This is Tanky 3, the most tanky tank we've ever seen. It's really not the most tanky tank. It might be, though. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.